Hey guys, hope everyone's doing okay during these crazy times. I uh, just wanted to do a video, like a collection video of one of my favorite wrestlers of all time, and that's going to be Sting. So just want to give you some of the, you know, from my DVD collection of some of the DVDs that feature him. Uh, the first one's going to be the Best of Sting. These are the ones that were produced by WWE. So we have a, a nice cover uh, of Sting. I, I don't remember him ever, I think only once he wore this, this outfit, and that was from... Uh, the Mayhem of 1999 when they did the WCW World Heavyweight Title Tournament and he wrestled um, Bret Hart. This is during his his brief heel run in WCW. Uh, so I, I definitely I always remember liking that outfit. I wish he would 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 have wore it more often. He looks he looks really jacked um, in in this photo. Uh, you open it up, you get you know Sting from the like, Monday Nitro, and then you got Sting from you know, this picture right here. Is from Starkey '97, and then we get the DVDs. Three DVDs here. We get um, one that's featuring the early Sting, Surfer Sting. We got the Crow Sting, and then we also have Wolfpack Sting. You know, Wolfpack Sting, a brief, brief Wolfpack Sting, but still, you know, it was it was interesting time for him. Uh, we'll go over some of the matches. Now, this is basically just the matches. There's no uh, documentary on here. Uh, you get really like you know, um, you know, in the face of WCW, uh, some really early stuff from Sting from you know e U UWF, uh, Blade Runners, him his his te teaming up with the Ultimate Warrior. We get you know, uh, of course you're gonna have Sting versus uh, Ric Flair from Great American Bash of of 1990. It was kind of like when Sting won the title for the first time. Uh, originally that match was was supposed to be at February's pay per view uh, Wrestle War. Of 1990, but Sting had the uh, knee injury, and uh, everything was pushed back. And, I, and I've I've, I've uh, heard interviews, especially with Jim Cornette, saying that that the fans were ready for Sting to be the champion in February, and then when everything was pulled pushed back, it was kind of the the whole thing kind of lost steam, and that really affect his title run. Uh, but you get some really cool, you know, some really good matches here. Again, like if you have the WWE Network, you probably don't need the DVD. I know there are some people that, that still collect the wrestling DVDs and they like to have the physical copy. Uh, but, you know, you get like Sting versus Diamond Dallas Page, uh, Sting versus uh, Stunning Steve Austin. Of course, you're going to have Sting versus Hogan from the Starcade, in their Starcade match. Um, and, you know, I just love the build to that match, even though the build, didn't, the match didn't live up to the build. But I uh, just, you know, as a fan back then, it brings back so many memories. Um, but you get some really good, uh, some really good matches here. And then w WWE came out with another DVD. Uh, this is more has the documentary. It's Sting Into the Light. Here's the back cover. We're gonna open this up, and you get Sting from picture taken from WrestleMania 31. And again, you're gonna get the, the three discs set, and this has a pretty cool documentary. Uh, you get to see Sting, you know, you know, heading over to the WWE headquarters, you know, meeting Vince McMahon and Triple H. So, so that, I thought that was pretty cool. I never really thought that was ever going to happen. So there's going to be a couple. There's like there, he's going to be the one wrestler that never, never wrestled for uh, WWE. And I was like, oh well, that was wrong. And I was like, oh, AJ Styles would be the next one. I can never see AJ Styles in the WWE. That will never happen. Pfft, well, he's in WWE. Uh, Austin Aries had a brief run, but yeah, I mean, I guess, you know, all, all roads lead to WWE uh, if you're a wrestler and if you're a good one. Uh, so wait, let's see what we got here. You know, you got the, you got the documentary, which is interesting. Uh, you got some early matches, you know, early sting from like 86 from the Memphis days, mid South wrestling, uh, one, one match on here that I, it's been a while since I've seen it, but I've heard that. It got it got good reviews from from especially from ninety one. It was Sting and Lex Luger against the Steiner brothers, and that was from Super Brawl one. So I think I think definitely that's a match you definitely should watch. I heard it was, I heard it was a really good tag match. And then you get you know of course you're gonna get Sting's WWE debut from you know Survivor Series, uh, and two thousand fourteen, and then Sting versus Triple H from WrestleMania thirty one. Now here are some. Different Sting DVDs. This is Sting uh, Moment of Truth. I got this a couple years ago from Amazon. This is like Sting's religious DVD. 
Uh, so it's ba- pretty much, his, I guess, his documentary of when he became a born again, born again Christian. It's kind of been a while since I've seen it, but I do remember they do have clips of wrestling. I think the wrestling clips were taken from TNA. Uh, so I just remember there's a scene where like, things like in the, in his hotel, and he's like, you know, he's got beer and stuff, and he's just just not happy and he just drops down to his knees and starts you know looking up to 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 heaven and just like you know breaking down um but you know interesting time and in, you know now we got some of the tna dvds i know tna came out with kind of like you know before sting left kind of like or when he did leave he they came out with like the best of sting's entire career in tna and I didn't buy that because I had most of his his matches on separate you know DVDs from TNA, so I did did collect D- TNA DVDs. But uh, this is the one of the first ones they came out with, Sting: Return of an Icon. Uh, it came out in like 2006. So this covers Sting's return to wrestling, his TNA run in 2006. So it goes from like January because he's he's uh. From January, uh, what was the first mat- pay per view they had in January? It was um, final. Can't know final. Oh, what was it? <laughs> what was the pay per view? It was it was Sting and Christian Cage versus Jeff Jarrett and the Alpha Male Monty Brown. Uh, final something. Final countdown. Uh, but it was in their it was their January pay per view when it was Sting's first. Uh, his return to wrestling in 2006. So this basically covers you know those those couple months in 2006, leading up to his match with Jeff Jarrett at Blood, um, Bound for Glory uh, 2006. So you don't have you don't have that match on here, but you do have all the lead up to it, and you get a lot lot of his met lockdown. You got uh, Sting and Samoa Joe against Jarrett and Scott Steiner. Um, you got a lot of yeah, last thing Chris, uh, Christian Cage. Um, you do have Sting against uh, Jeff Jarrett from Hard Justice. It was uh, the August pay per view, and that's, that was kind of the match that led to their match at Bound for Glory, where Sting eventually did win. The uh, at the time, w- T- TNA was um, had a partnership with NWA, so the title wasn't called the TNA title; it was called the NWA title. Open it up. Yeah, nothing fancy in here. Uh, you, you do have the documentary too, you know, sit down interview with Sting, which is, was was interesting because you know, at the time, two thousand and six, you didn't really see much of Sting. You know, five years after WCW closed, you know, uh, we were just hoping maybe he would, you know, f- find his way into WWE, but then, you know, at that time, it never happened. So you get the sit down interview, and that's when Sting says, like, you know, the reason why he didn't go to WCW, he didn't go to WWE. Uh, because he was concerned with the way he was going to be used, and he, he referenced the way Booker T was used, and the way that some other WCW guys were brought in and were not really featured, um, you know, really they weren't really featured that well. Um, so definitely, this is we got this, and then, and again, I I just, I just got some random uh, TNA DVDs. Basically, if if, if you're if you're a fan of Sting in in TNA. Uh, probably you would want to get some of those Bound for Glory DVDs because that's 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 what you really want. And so uh, these these are the, these are some of them. And I've done some some reviews, but that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching.